Hey everybody, I am coming making this video message and I want to tell you about the switch up. What is the switch up you may ask? I am talking about fake and phony people. This video message may come as a shock to some of you all because usually when I come with messages, they are from the word of God or they are more spiritual. But in this video, I guess you can look at it from a spiritual standpoint, but you can also look at it from a standpoint of just knowing that on your journey, just as you're living life, as God is elevating you, as God is changing you, as different things are happening for you in every good way, you are going to experience some fake and some phony people. Now, I know a lot of you all, you may not really feel any type of way about coming across phony people because if you all know, probably from childhood or maybe when you got in middle school, you began to come into the full understanding of how two-faced and flaky people were. But as full grown men and women and saved for a lot of us grown and uh grown men and women we will come across people that we always give the benefit of the doubt and when you give these people the benefit of the doubt you don't really have an inkling that they may be fake or phony you realize who is fake and phony through certain situations. When certain situations kick off and when certain things happen or certain things go down, that is when you see who is who. But on the flip side of that, there is sometimes things that will not actually kick off. You will just be 100% being you and doing what God has called you to do. And there will be people who will act and pretend like they love you, they're riding with you, they're supporting you, and they have the Spirit of God in them just like you, but then they will show a glitch of something inside of them and it's fake and phony. So to those of you who just need some encouragement and a little bit of understanding as to why this happens, I'm going to explain to you why it happens. For those who it fits, then let it fit. And for those who it doesn't fit, then continue to move on. But let me explain something to you all, especially in the world of YouTube and social media. There are going to be people who are watching you and they don't know you. They have never seen you a day in your life. They don't know you. They don't know what's in your heart. They don't know your character. But simply from a distance, they have been watching you and following you. And your energy, as they say, or your vibe, as they say, those people are drawn to it. They are attracted to it. Maybe they can discern some great things about you and they want to watch you. They want to connect with you. Now, some of you all, you may have gotten to a point where you have allowed somebody who reached out to you through email to get your phone number or some of you all you will collaborate with people on video messages or you just become really good friends but there are going to be some people who have been watching you and following you at a distance that they become fake and phony you may ask well why does this happen it happens because there is something that they can sense that has shifted in you for the better or there is something that you are doing in the midst of walking in your anointing and call and it rubs them the wrong way. And so their support and then being your cheerleader, it stops. One indication that you will know that someone is fake and phony because sometimes it's not obvious. It's not always obvious that somebody is fake and phony because people are really great at pretending and putting on a smile and acting like they're riding for you. I told you all a few video messages ago that a lot of times people who don't know you, uh, they're, uh, they like you and they are the first ones to comment on content that you upload or they're the first one to comment and interact and share your um content on facebook on instagram if you're on tiktok and those sometimes are the main people that turn on you quick from one little thing that you may say that rubs them the wrong way now like i said 
sometimes an indication that somebody is fake and phony is if they've been riding with you commenting on your things sharing your things or openly and publicly telling you they love you they love your vibe they love what you bring and they understand why god is using you the way that they the way that he is i'm sorry they will actually stop interacting with you or if you turn the tables and interact with them or comment on their things they will start to ignore you and so some of you all when you see this you don't necessarily understand it but you can pick up on it you'll just notice like okay this person was really really vibing with me they were supportive of me they were commenting on my things they were sharing my things you know I thought it was just like uh you know a mutual love there but once you start to see that the energy of people drop off with you and they have not told you why or they have not came and said anything to you, sometimes, not in every situation, but sometimes it's simply because they may have gotten offended off what you're doing in the midst of you delivering what God has called you to deliver. You all have to be open to this fact and you have to understand something. You cannot worry about, I've said it so many times, you cannot be worried about who likes you and who doesn't or who is going to get offended off you speaking teaching or preaching against certain things you can't because if you stop and you're worried about that one person who may be guilty of what you're teaching and preaching against then you got to be worried about everything else that certain people may be guilty of you don't have this type of time you have to be obedient to God and you have to walk in your call. You can be talking about one subject. You're teaching against it. You're preaching against it. You may have given a prophetic word against it. Let's say it's about adultery. Let's say it's about drug use. Let's say it's about jealousy. Let's say it's about gossiping. If somebody who has been supporting you and riding with you, or it could be married people, you may have taught or preached uh, something that married couples do to each other, but you're doing it because you want married couples to heal. You want them to heal. You want them to stop hurting each other. And you are exposing certain things that the enemy will do in the midst of a marriage. So if that person is married and they're watching your content and you're speaking about marriages in general, you're not taking a stab or a shot at them, just in general, that person, if they are not rooted in God, and if they are insecure about their marriage or they are guilty and they have unhealed hurt because the things that you're preaching and teaching against it fits them they're going to stop rocking with you but I don't want any of you all to get discouraged by this that's the point of this video message don't get discouraged when you see fake or phony people because some of you may say well that's not a person being fake or phony but in my book I really do feel like that's somebody being fake and phony because when somebody and I told you all it's a scripture in the word of God um when you have an alt with somebody or when you think that somebody has targeted you in some way if you say that you like that person or you respect them you need to go to that person you need to tell that person you offended me because you were teaching something and i feel like you were targeting me i feel like you were talking about me that is what people should be doing but unfortunately that is not what happens people will sit back like i said at a distance they follow you they watch you and initially when you're talking about and teaching all the things that they like all the things that they can relate to and it resonates with them they will be your best friend they will be your biggest cheerleader they will sing your praises they will pat you on the back they will say god sent you in my life i love what you're doing you remind me of myself whatever it is that they're saying to you but the minute you talk about something that makes them uncomfortable or behind closed doors they're guilty of it you may not honestly have any clue that they're guilty of the things that you're preaching prophesying and teaching against 
you don't know this but this is where some people are but i'm telling those of you who are out here and you keep finding yourself in these situations where you're minding your own business you are not monitoring anybody you are not using against anybody any information that they've given you whether it was shameful or embarrassing for them and you're literally just minding your business you don't have an inkling of any type of information on what somebody is doing behind closed doors and their private life but you keep finding yourself falling out with people you find them that one minute people are cool with you and the next minute they don't like you one minute they're commenting on your stuff and supporting you and the next minute they withdraw the support or you're commenting on their things and you're cheerleading for them but they uh ignore you they overlook you now we already know anybody with half a brain it could be many other reasons why people do this but more often it is because there is a level of offense that has taken place and sometimes guys people just don't have the courage and the boldness to call you out or come to you about it they're not gonna come to you and say you offended me I feel like you were targeting me that message that you put out it was a little bit too harsh I don't really care for it they're not gonna come to you like that so what do people do they I'm sorry they will switch up they'll switch up on you and they'll just completely stop talking to you in your real life for some of you all people will completely change towards you they will change their demeanor towards you they will stop texting you they will stop calling you if you see them somewhere they will stop smiling at you or if you ask them a question they will ignore you and these are full grown men and women so all i'm telling you all is that on this journey you're gonna come across a lot of weird activity you're gonna see a lot of weird things you're gonna get a lot of weird just uncommon vibes off people and sometimes they will not verbalize it some cases God will give you the discernment where you can see some things afar off or you can discern some things afar off but sometimes it's going to be like a gray area and you're not really going to know but if you know you've never honestly done anything to that person and if you know that you don't have a evil hidden agenda towards that person and just out the blue they completely started acting funny towards you you better bet your bottom bottom dollar that is because there has been some level of offense because of what you're doing but don't stop what you're doing you never back down in exposing the enemy you never back down in talking about what god has gifted you and anointed you to talk about you don't do it because you're concerned about how other people feel one thing about a lot of people i'm sorry guys one thing about a lot of people is that people try to control your gift they think that they can control your gift or they think that they can have some level of power over your gift i have had people come and tell me you should tone it down don't say that don't put that out there now it's nothing inappropriate that's being said it's nothing in inappropriate that's being taught okay or preached but if somebody personally does not like what you're teaching and preaching against or it rubs them the wrong way they feel like well i support you and i like you and if you don't want to lose my support and me liking you then you will not teach this you will not preach this you will be shocked at how many people have this mentality when they really don't understand that what you're doing is not personal see the thing is a lot of people even in the kingdom of god they take a lot of things personal when god really really starts using you and you're really out here being obedient and doing what god has called you to do a lot of people are going to feel some type of way about it i told you all we've been talking about this over the past two or three weeks how you don't have to seek validation you don't need validation from people you don't need people to receive you you don't need to worry about who likes you and who doesn't but can you get the understanding as to why there are people that rock with you for a while and then they back up they jump ship they switch up that's what i'm telling you all you will see the switch up you will see people who are laughing and cracking up with you not in a disrespectful way but because they're vibing with you but the minute 
that you touch an area that pinches them. The minute that you teach something that they're guilty of, you don't know anything about their personal private life, but you teach against something and it hits them, it hits home for them, they will avoid you. They will back away from you. And so all I'm saying, and I'm about to get out of here, don't get discouraged, my beautiful brothers and sisters. You all were created to do a job. God has called you. God has anointed you. God has appointed you. You don't have time to worry about what the peanut gallery is saying. You don't have time to worry about what the peanut gallery is feeling. You don't have time to chase down and question people as to why they're acting funny with you now. I'm telling you some of the main ones that comment on your stuff and they laughing at you and they tuning in on your lives and they say oh i'm rocking with you and blah 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 the minute that something touches or rubs them the wrong way they're gone and so all i'm saying to you all is that you got to keep going because if you are a babe in christ or if you are weak in your gift and that's not a bad thing that's not a bad thing it takes time for your gift to become stronger and for it to become precise and on point your work under construction i'm a work under construction so don't let that distract you but what i'm saying is that some people they do this and they act like this and they don't recognize you know what this person has to be obedient to God. This person is doing their job. It's not personal. I can't get offended off of it. I cannot take it personal. They are doing their job. They're not tuning into my life, worried about what I'm doing. Because see, when you are in a place where God is using you to preach and teach or prophesy against certain things or shout with a loud voice against what the devil is doing and you're exposing the enemy, a lot of people will take it personal. They will take it personal and um, they will personalize your call. It's not personal. It's business. You better be about your father's business. You better be 100% about the father. I'm talking about Jesus Christ um, and not for the people. You cannot be for the people, not in that sense. You are for the people to serve them. You are to inspire and uplift them. If they have a need, if you can give it to help somebody who is struggling or they are lacking something, be available. But you can't be for the people. You have to be for God. And so when you see the fake and phony, when you see that switch up, don't get discouraged by it. Bless the person. Pray for them if God lead you to pray for them and you move on with your life but on your way up you're gonna see a lot of that you're gonna see a lot of fake people you're gonna see a lot of phony people keep going well guys it's time for me to go because i have some other things to do the lord will and i will be back with another video message if any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.